On this episode of Hockey Show, when a butterfly flaps its wings in Tokyo, it creates a hurricane in Chicago. What if the tables turned a little bit? Maybe we wouldn't be here doing this show right now in front of you. It's something that someone once told me is called the butterfly goalie effect. We have three different scenarios we'd like to explore. Canada has produced some of the greatest hockey talents ever. Ever. In the world. Wayne Gretzky, Canadian. Connor, Connor McDavid, McDavid Canadian. Canadian. Sidney Crosby, Canadian. Canadian. Remember what happened in 1972? No. Everybody knows about the Paul Henderson goal with 34 seconds to go. Paul Henderson with the goal! It was a pretty like important time for Canadian hockey. Two biggest hockey powers going up against one another. Yeah. Paul Henderson could have just as easily whiffed that puck and then the 34 seconds would have ran out and it would have been a tie. And you know what that means? Russia, Russia wins! wins! If you don't win and we tie, we win. What's not to understand? We win. <laughs> Welcome to Hockey Show. My name is Oleg. I am Daniska and we are the Vasilev brothers. We're going to be talking about the 1972 Russia Canada hockey series. I am proud Russian. We drink the vodka. We don't like the Gatorade. We have asserted our dominance on the sport of hockey. Okay. We are graceful. Yes. We are structured. Like swan on ice. The Canadians come out swinging. You're like orangutan. We end up oh. sweeping them in their country. And in game eight, we dominate. Imagine if we lost to those pesky Canadians. Where would we, where would we? Where would we be right now? We are going to be talking about this. This was never discussed. If I'm... you are a Toronto sports fan, oh my God. you might want to leave the room right now. Toronto was facing Boston in the first round. In game seven, Toronto did what Toronto does best and choked in the third period. That game at any point could have just as easily gone the other way. Tuka Rask just had to make one little tiny mistake what if that game just went a little bit differently, you know? What if Toronto didn't choke? What if Toronto didn't choke? Not only did we beat Boston in overtime in game seven, oh. we took the cup. We did it! Uh. <laughs> Go that Leafs, is unbelievable. Go. Go Nobody Leafs, ever go. thought it would happen. Nobody ever saw it coming. Y'all didn't believe. Toronto successfully cemented itself as the single greatest hockey city in the world. Legend says that the parade is still going on somewhere on Dundas. Yeah! Ticket prices for the Leafs shot up to $12,000 per ticket. You know, sounds like a Stanley Cup win for Toronto really helped the economy. It boosted the economy. People on the streets are just generally happy. Yeah. Imagine what this city would be like if Boston actually took us out of the first round. If they choked that year, you'd be a Red Wings fan by now. This is not the... What? You're a Wings fan? Did you hear about the new team in the NHL? Team number 31. Mr. Gary Bettman decided it would be a good idea to expand the NHL and introduce a new team to Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Viva Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. People sure. go to Vegas to shell out money to watch Celine Dion, so why wouldn't they go to watch a hockey game? This is like Canada sport, and we want another team, and everyone knows we want another team. We, sh we probably should have another team. Sounds like a very stupid idea uh, made by Mr. Gary Bettman due to his extreme racism toward Canada. What do you think would happen if they chose Quebec instead of Viva Las Vegas? Parler en français. I am very glad that they chose Le Québécois over Las Vegas. We must protect our culture, our art, our language, so everything French. The team drafted exclusively French players. Coach French. Players. French. French. Guy who does the laundry. French. French. 
What? This is crazy. I've never seen anyone do this. All of them. Because if we don't protect our culture, what are we? We're just a bunch of Canadians. We are just like those happy towns. The owner decided to go with the name Les Separatists. And the mascot for the team is Local Celebrity Jean Poutine. Do you really think the Vegas could come up with a better mascot than Jean Poutine? I think uh, we need another team here in Canada. Yeah, let's make it eight. Because seven garbage teams is, isn't yeah, good enough. Yeah, isn't good enough. We need yeah. one more. I hardly know fractions. Hmm. Chaos theory seems really complicated. Mm -hmm. I say leave butterfly effect for the experts like Aston Kutcher. And, you know, let's focus on solve, solving global warming.